Before we go over to the shop, I'd like to talk about what I call lathe spring back, especially if you have a small lathe, spring back can be significant. You've got a piece mounted in your chuck and it's pretty stable. You've got your cutting tool coming against it. Now the cutting tool, it's connected to the tool holder, which is connected to the tool post, which in turn connects to a plate that's connected to another plate. All those things put together all have a little bit of spring back and when you push, they want to come back the other way. And like I say, this happens more so on a small lathe because of the lack of mass and, and rigidity. So I'd like to show you what I've done to minimize that on my King uh, 10 by 22 lathe. All right, we're looking at the compound slide, which is this assembly here. And the compound slide is attached to the cross slide, which is this slide here, which goes back and forth on, on that handle right there. Now the original plate that connected this whole assembly to that plate there is right up here. It has two holes in it. So any pressure back and forth, it can kind of go like this. We're really exaggerating, of course. But I have replaced this plate with a square plate. The square plate is this plate right here. And it's much larger. It has a screw up here and it has a screw on this side and it also has a screw on that side and I'm going to remove the compound slide now and let you take a look at that. All right I didn't have to remove that we can see the bolts here here's one of the original bolts and here is another original bolt and now we have a third bolt here on a much larger plate that's going to stop the rocking so instead of a small plate like this with just the two bolts that can allow some of this to go on we now have a larger plate with the three bolts in it and that is going to stop some of the spring back all right hopefully you'll be able to see this I just measured the piece that's in the chuck here's what it measured 0.6550 I wrote that down on this card. We're going to take 20 thou off that. We should end up with 0.635. Now let's see what happens. All right, we're going to take the 20 thou. There we go. I'm going to measure that again. I can't uh, handle the camera, so we're going to turn it off. We'll be right back. Okay. We came out with 0.63755. After taking our 20 thou off, we should have come out with a 0.635. So it looks like we have a couple more thou to take off. But perhaps we don't. If we wind that carriage back in without touching anything and take another cut, let's see what happens. Oh, looks like we're taking some more off here, doesn't it?
So there's your spring back for you. If we were to check that again now, it's going to be very close to the 0.635 because, as you can see, it was taking more material off without making any adjustment to the cross slide setting. And that's spring back. Now, after replacing that two hole plate with the three hole plate, we're still looking at about two foul spring back after a 20 thou cut. That was worse with the plate that only had the two holes. Uh, almost uh, twice as bad. So changing that plate can improve the spring back. And if you don't change the plate, at least be aware that's what's going to happen or you'll end up with smaller parts than what you thought you were producing in the first place. If you'd like to be notified of other new modifications, please click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.